Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a very special guest with us today. He is special. I'm Mr. X. Very special. Somewhat He's Mr. special. Mr. X. Let's crack into another one. Ooh, we did it. <laughs> All right. Let's go. You? Oh, is it me? Yeah, okay. You big man. I wasn't yeah. sure. I, I wasn't sure it was my turn. I'm still I'm still learning. It's I'm still learning the crazy it's fine. Towns We will stuff. not yeah. edit that out. Don't either. edit that's that fine. out. No, yeah. man, the, the awkward silence is good truth. for the listeners. It's I've heard truth, that. Not I've heard that. Facts here. That's yeah. right. That's right. We're we're in search of truth. Uh okay. So this this happened I believe this week. Uh, well, yeah, this week the time is not relevant on the crazy. Time's not relevant. A couple weeks ago. Yeah. A couple weeks ago this happened in St. Clair, Missouri. A uh, teacher said she has been placed on, minist- on administrative leave uh, after officials discovered that she was performing on a website called OnlyFans. Mm. Oh, the ceiling fan connoisseur site. Yeah. I, I don't think that's the same one. It might be. I haven't been on it. Oh, but, fans with an S or a Z? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I don't know. It's, it was, uh, I think it's an S. <laughs> I, it's well, a, the one with the ceiling fan connoisseur is the Z. Oh, yeah. No, this one This one does. Sorry. This one does have an S. She really uh, likes Dyson. Brianna, I can't say her last name. Uh, that's fine. I probably who's, shouldn't. Who's anyway. 20. Yeah, we'll just drive her more. more uh, oh, yeah. Brooke, Brooke in love. Yeah, whatever. But uh, who taught English. She's 28 years old, taught English. English at this high school mm-hmm. and uh, says her teaching days are probably o- over. Well, yeah, because now she's making a ton of money on OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, now she's famous. And after sort of. and after joining, her mem- her subscriber count went up by 100 subscribers. So 100 subscribers mm-hmm. and she's charging... Um, 10 I, bucks I mean, a month. Let's, I'm just going to guess. She's charging eight ninety nine. Yeah. I don't know that for that's a fact. That's $9,000 a month. $9, $900 a month. That's not enough. That's not enough, but her teaching career is probably over for that. Okay, she does say in the story that over, like since she's been on it, not necessarily since it began, but while she's been teaching, she's made an extra eight to ten thousand a month, bruh, performing on OnlyFans. Crazy man! I and, I would love to make an extra eight to ten thousand. Her base salary was forty two thousand dollars. That's before the allegations. So she's making yeah. more, she's making more on now. OnlyFans than she is on teaching. Way more, if yeah. Now here's the question. Go please. please. Is that is that sustainable? No, obviously yeah. not. Like, and that's what I, I I've seen. This isn't the only story we've seen like this, right? I, you you guys may have talked about some, but and I've seen some other ones. But it's just like there's a lot of very short sight. I think it's very short sighted of someone to say I don't need this career that I can have for the next thirty years because I got OnlyFans and I'm making all this bag mm-hmm. and. And I don't think it, and I think, you know, they're in their twenties. Yeah. They don't quite understand that you're going to need to make that bag for the next 20 ish years. Do yeah. you think that mean you're going to be the young, hot new thing for the next 20 years? Definitely a bad career choice. I think it's a poor tr- career choice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually what's really funny is I, uh, there used to be this girl that I chatted with on a social media site that was like an only fans chick. And she was she would she was telling did, me about. Did how, you like, pay to chat no. with her? Okay, just making sure. And, <laughs> uh, and what she uh, and he what did. she told me was that like she had a TikTok, and she posted like not even a like just kind of a suggestive video on TikTok, and it got like a million views or something. And then she's like, then for like three months in a row, I made like twenty thousand dollars on my OnlyFans, and then when I wasn't posting as much and wasn't getting those million dollar hits, it started dwindling very fast. And like, then it's to the point where you have to put out so much goddamn content to even appease the people who are still on your side. And they've already well, seen you and naked. You, and, and you got to, yeah. Cause you, so you got to bring something new, right? right? They've already seen you naked. They've already seen you do stuff. Like what can you do to keep that base there for them from moving on to the next, like you just said, yeah. the next hot thing, the I next need, girl who got a million view. I need something fans. crazier uh, or something uh, raunchy. Uh, 100%. Or... Because as a guy, as a guy, as guys, we're all guys here, right? We're in a safe place. I, I can all, say all three of us. No one's listening. Yeah, I'm a dude. It's just the three of us. I can yeah. say that my dick gets tired of looking at the same chick right a little bit okay I mean, on a screen for sure yeah yeah so, yeah. Right. yeah in a screen so, or in person okay so yeah. then let me ask you this too if if you're inclined to look at porn okay what's that i know yeah jo- <laughs> saint jonas you don't have to answer <laughs> but adult, the adult material adult material if you're trying to look at and if you're inclined to look at adult material sure why in the hell would you pay for it 
There is so much free. You can go to any one of a dozen sites. You you probably gonna catch a virus in the middle. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't. There's know. no reason to pay for it. But yeah, why mm-hmm. would you pay whatever it costs? OnlyFans. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just like a donator. Well, I think we've talked about this before. So like, so say somebody sees like a girl on OnlyFans, they're like, oh, they're really cute. I wonder what they look like naked. And their OnlyFans is four dollars for a month. Yep. Is it worth four dollars? Yep. For you to see what she looks like naked and then cancel it the next month. Hmm. But what if you forget? Oh, man, I'll pay eight dollars. <laughs> pay eight bucks. It's been a month. I'll pay eight dollars. Fine. All right, you miss it again. Oh, so, you know, but, what but are you we at? Think, Sixteen, twelve dollars. You go I'll to pay, the strip club well, and pay twenty dollars to get one dance. That's thank true. you. That's so true. it's like, well, all right. So, but do you think so? If you're one of these folks on OnlyFans who's a subscriber. Are you only subscribing to one of them at a time? Mm. I mean, why do you need more than that? Well, yeah. So, well, then you're definitely going to well, change around. Well, some people around. do it because they'll the girls will talk to you if you pay them too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, if you're a subscriber or pay them, they will like interact with you, and that that's the sweet spot, man. And they do live shows, if you, or not even just the just the chatting. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, if you could have people chat with you and they would pay you money per message mm-hmm. just to talk to them, yeah. That, there's no effort in that. Well, and, I, and so, so I saw some. Sorry, I, I saw something where basically it was like some dude, like because I guess they they're they kind of pretend to. It's like they're like strippers. They like to pretend like, oh, you're you're the guy I like. Or you're the I really well, like. Of course, it's they're yeah. playing a character. Yeah, they're playing a character. But these dudes like get totally into it. And I saw something where some dude like sent this chick like seventy five grand as a tip or something crazy. Oh yeah, like, though, I mean, which no. was his life savings. Thinking, because basically, I think she told him something like, "Oh yeah, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come live with you, you yeah, like, whatever." Mm-hmm. He's like, mm-hmm. and so and it's like, there's like a video I saw of like this girl like he, he sends that money and it's like live and she turns around and goes, "Hey babe," talking to her boyfriend, "We just got seventy five grand, thank you." Wow! And it was just like I I, I don't remember where I, I think I don't know where I saw that. But Bro, was, no, I I actually heard that story. Yeah, I heard, yeah. I heard that as well. So let me give a little bit of pushback here. Okay, please. All right. If I told you that you could make, you said that this young lady made twenty thousand dollars a month, month for, for like three months or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's a 60, I don't. I don't remember the exact. That's but. a sixty thousand dollar cash injection over the course of three months, supplementary to your whatever. Yeah, job and I mean, she she was younger, so she was working like it, like just a random. Store it's hard. It, it would be hard to pass up on something like that. Yeah, I understand that. Now, I mean, me as me today, if somebody was like, "You can just get naked on the internet and you'll make twenty thousand dollars for three months," I'd yeah. be like, hmm. <laughs> I would, so what I would if think what about it? What if you were in a position where Just to smack my dick around? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, <laughs> foulness. I'm sorry. Y'all can do that together. We're far enough into the episode. I ain't said y'all much. can make all kinds of money. <laughs> ain't nobody listening seven minutes in. Yeah, that's right. But I don't know what to say at that point. <laughs> what? Uh, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. Yeah, I just, I just, I just think that it'd be hard to pass up on. Now, I, I now I agree with all of the bullet points about like, is it detrimental to like, like the whole idea of like women in the relationship well, with men? Okay, that was going to be my question, Joe. Because is, marriage is down, the interaction with men and women is down. Oh, way down, yeah. way down. And that COVID had a lot to do with that. So it, it is becoming a little problematic. And then when women are only dealing with men on the internet, they're going to have less of a, a lesser view of them because the guys and the creeps who they communicate with are not going to give them a positive outlook of, oh, the, absolutely. of anything. Yeah, I true. can guarantee you they're all creeps. Oh, so, absolutely. So, well, what were you going to ask me? So Go Jonas, on, on your example of like, yeah, I do it for a month or two or whatever it would be. If you knew that there was a high chance that if it came out that you were doing this, that you would lose your your career, like you wouldn't be able to have your job, like so you'd make your money, sixty k. But you know, it, it, like you couldn't have that job and probably not that career ever again. Would you? Would you? Would you do it? And no. do that ten, math for ten, a second. 10 no, ten k a month. Oh, it depends. For am three I, months. Am I about to retire? 10k a month the lady said she was making 10k a month for for what she'd been making 10k well, you're a month saying in my example if i knew i yeah, could i'm do talking it about jonas because he said yeah i'd do but it, then huh? my job found out and they're like we, we can't yeah, have you yeah we can't have you doing, yeah, this job have you doing this anymore mm. for and i'm like so it's is getting like a, an injection for three months worth losing your consistent salary it's, and benefits and vacation and that's where i think it's, it's a gamble it's, it's a gamble for me for me if that answer like no it would not yeah. like it would be nice Yo. to have a chunk of 60k but you only bring home what 40k 
cash. Yeah, yeah if that. I think they take like thirty percent. Yeah, so not even. Yeah, you take you can bring home like forty. So forty k after taxes to potentially lose my career and have to find a brand new 40, job. Forty thousand in like three months, man. I, I look, I, I feel you, but, but it may take you three months to find a new job. You're gonna blow up. You better save that money, right? So like, you can't even do anything with that money because you just got fired and you got to find a new job. I I just feel like cash injections of that of that nature. If you know how to manage your money well enough, you can turn that into something. And I, I hate to say it, yeah, but it's not enough to not work. Yep, agreed, agreed. And it, work is, it is one Bell? of those things about how long will it last? Yeah, if you can do, if if like that's the thing is like it's bad business. It, well, I mean, but it's a good business. For a short period of time, and you, but you've got young twenty-three-year-old girls, right? Women who are saying, "Oh, I can make this money forever," because look how much I'm making right now, and they they don't even try to have a career. Mm -hmm. And then, so let's say you you do this for a year, and your face is well known, mm -hmm. and you're easy to Google. Mm -hmm. You think you're going to find another job? It's going to be a little harder. What happens when your kids find out? What happens when your kids find out? Yeah, I believe that two things can be true. I believe that. It's an excellent opportunity. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't blame anyone for doing it. But I also think that it's detrimental to everything. So the problem lies in the fact that it needs to stop being an excellent opportunity. We should just get rid of the Internet. <laughs> no, I think that I, honestly, there's a reason, podcast. But yes, there's I mean, a reason that only fans issued that whole ultimatum about they were going to stop doing adult material. They were receiving pushback. They reneged on it because. Obviously, they lost millions, and then fans. Oh yeah, because people were just going to leave. Yeah, because people were just going to leave because there's no there's no incentive in it, and there's other options, right? Like you said, when they saw the amount of money that they were going to lose versus the amount of money that they might have been fined by the government, they were like, "Yo, it's worth it." What were they getting fined over, dude? I I feel I have I have a firm belief that the American government does things for the betterment of the people because the people don't really fucking know the, how to take care of themselves. If it were up to us, we'd all just be fucking everything and jerking off and, and fucking just, just graping everybody and just it'd drugs, be, money, booze. Exactly. We do every drug until we died. We'd have fucking drug Olympics. Like you guys, <laughs> you, everything, every, nothing, everything would just be off the fucking boards. So I believe that American government takes steps to do things that are for our benefit. You give the people what they need and tell them what they want. Okay. Right. But, but what law would only fans be breaking if there's, They're I mean, the, the internet's ethical, full of, of porn. Eth ethical laws, because it's not just affecting the people who decide to get into the industry. That was a very niche group. Now it's, it's available. Society. Now it's available to everybody. Now your fucking kid's teacher at her fucking uh, <laughs> at elementary school could be an OnlyFans model. And then what happens? Your kid gets on the internet, finds the picture, starts spreading around school. This has already happened. Yeah. It has already happened. Oh, it happens. It's happened, I think, quite a bit. And but I, I and I don't disagree with you at all. I'm not arguing. Yeah, no, no. But what no, I'm trying absolutely. to understand is where did where like what where was the government standing to say, oh no, 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 we're gonna draw the line right over here. Where's like the, forget Pornhub or these other things that have all kinds of crazy shit on them. Okay. Like we're going to draw the line over here. I'd have to say in the same right that the government has the right to say that um, there are laws against drug use in America because of the effects that it has on people. Cocaine is not legal. Um, heroin's not legal. There's a reason for that. Yet marijuana is legal in certain states because, okay, fine. It's harmful, but not super harmful. Have it. So you're saying the government could step in because it's it's everyday everyday people from middle America getting on OnlyFans, and that's I'm, why and like, not, it's not just like porn stars out in L.A. They're, I'm not saying that the government could step in. I'm saying that they have to. Okay. I'm saying that is necessary because. If you just tell people to do the right thing, the right thing will never get done. You have to force it. You have to make laws so that certain things are illegal so that things won't happen. It's 100%. The laws, before, laws aren't for me and you. Laws aren't for me and you because we don't break laws. But if you just if you if the America if the government doesn't step in and say stealing from Walmart is illegal, Everybody's going to steal from Walmart. <laughs> if the government doesn't say that cocaine isn't illegal, everybody's going to do cocaine. Yeah. So they have to step in. They have to. They have to stand. They have to for, be the party pooper for the protection of society. Exactly. So if the government doesn't step in and say OnlyFans, uh, this is, is some bullshit. We're gonna start taxing you on some shit. Um, OnlyFans is like, 
but we're making so much money we can just pay the fine. Now, I'm not saying is that that's 100% truth, but because it's, it's just my truth, I think it's that that's the reason that they were uh, even pressured. Because why Those would you advertisers? Yeah, why would you be making a billion dollars and then stop doing it? Advertisers, know, Tumblr. The, whatever they did the math. They <laughs> so. did the, 100%. There was a boardroom of guys who did the math and said, "Yo, it's profitable why, either why, way." Why do I think? And this is my cynical self Go talking. Ahead. Why do I we'll, think we'll, we'll cut after this? Yeah. So. Why, why do I think that that only what actually probably happened is that instead of all that, OnlyFans just started paying the right politicians. <laughs> <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's no, episode. That's probably the truth. Go that's to crazytown.com for Jonas TNT and, and Mr. X. Oh, uh, yeah.